Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard and I'm coming to you today from Nassau in the Bahamas. And if you've been to Nassau before, um, you might say, what's here? Well, you've got Atlantis, you've got some beaches, you got a new thing that Disney and Royal Caribbean are building, but not much. Now they did just fully, fully rebuild this port. This is the port area. But I don't wanna talk about the port area today. I wanna to talk about something directly outside of the port area. You know what you don't think of when you think of Nassau? You don't think of craft beer. I'm leaving the port gate right now. This is the gate to go into the cruise ship port and going across the street and you've got a place called Pirate Republic, which is a craft brewery. They do not brew right here. They brew over by the airport where the land is cheaper. Um, but this has actually, it's been open for a few years. I found it on my last trip to Nassau and we are going to do a taste test today. I've got my friend Kirsten here. She is babysitting the beer. So we have one of every beer they make. So we got one of every beer they make. Let's go ahead and give them a try. All right, say hi, Kirsten. Hello. So I was telling everyone we're literally right by the port. I showed them where the cruise ships were. Uh, we're gonna put this down. We'll stay, oh, I didn't show them what we have. I told them what we had. We've got how many beers? So this is, you, you, you know, you know count, the count from Sesame Street, right? We gotta count like Sesame Street. One, ah, 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 two, ah, 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 three, ah, four, five, six, seven, eight. The count gets tiring after a while. Now, Kirsten likes beer, I'm not gonna lie. It's one o'clock. She's already four drinks ahead of me. Now, I was about nine drinks ahead of you last night, but um, you're already four drinks ahead of me. So we got every beer they have here at the Pirate Republic, and we're gonna review them for you live. So I found about half the beers were actually really good here. Last time I was here. Uh, I found this last time. Kirsten doesn't want to relive the last time she was in Bahamas, so we're gonna make the beer forget it. Um, so Long John Pilsner, I'll let the lady taste first. Go ahead, go. You can start with the first one. Long John Pilsner, I'm gonna take off my mic so people can hear you. I, I typically like Pilsners, so. Okay. That's super crisp, easy to drink. Crushable. Crushable, yes. Yeah, you understand what that means, right? Like like you drink it so fast and crush the can? Yeah, that's yeah. what crushable means. It's crushable? It is, Okay, yeah. so we're gonna swap. Now, you're gonna hold the mic, and then I'm gonna try the beer. Sure. And then we're gonna do this eight times. It's called a full swap. No, 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 I, I, I made a pineapple cruises joke. Um, very crushable. We're not gonna slam these beers yet. Very crushable. Let's go for number two. Again, ladies first. This is the Golden Haze of Piracy. It is a Belgian wheat beer with orange and coriander. So I'm gonna say it's a blue moonish in nature. Yes, but it has a little bit what? more blue moonish oh, in nature. A little bit more um, honey color though. Yeah, it's a little little. Uh... That's very good. Yeah, not as crushable because it's not a pilsner. I, I, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm saying it's not crushable! Uh, hold on, we gotta swap again. All right. Ooh! It's a little more honeyer than, than a Blue Moon. Not as light as a Blue I'm okay with that. Uh, it's also about the same alcohol percentage as a Blue Moon. Uh, the first one we had was 4.5%, second one 4.6%. Um, nothing bad so far. And now, now we gotta go this is the Pirate Republic. Let's go to the Island Pirate Ale. I typically like ales as well. I'll tell you, I'm not a stout fan, but we tried the stout to see if I like the stout. Are you a stout fan? You know, I like stouts over ice cream. Well, we don't, I, I had ice cream like an hour ago. That's a, that's a typical ale. Typical ale? Yep. Okay. Woo, okay. Microphone up to Richie. Okay, here we go. A little more bitier than the first two, but that's how an ale should be. It's actually done correctly. All right. Uh, that's I I Island Pirate Ale, which is a pale ale with notes of pine, citrus, and tropical fruits. Next up, I am not a stout person. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a stout person. Kirsten, uh, you can give the stout a try. We don't have yes. any ice cream stout and it's on. A, it's a breakfast stout, and and as and they say, lunchtime. as they say, um, beer is so much more than just a breakfast drink. I mean, now it's just a breakfast drink. Right. 
I like it. it. Tastes like a typical stout. Maybe like a Guinness. A little, um, a little less creamy. Yeah. Okay, a little less creamy. Yeah. So more coffee forward or? Yes. So I'm not a fan of. Oh God. I, I don't judge me on this one. Like I'm saying, I don't like stouts. So if I'm not gonna like this, it's because I don't like stouts. I just want to let people know, like. It's not fair for me to tell them that like, hey, I like all these other types of beer, but not stouts. I also don't love IPAs, but that's coming up in a bit. Oh, you're right. It's weird. There's no cream in it. Yeah. It tastes like coffee. I'm just gonna rest my laurels on it. it tastes like coffee. So you're an affogato fan, I assume. You like uh, ice cream with the, over the coffee, the coffee over the ice cream. Yeah, I'm not an affogato fan. Okay, next one is Take No Quarter. This is the American style IPA. Now, I typically do not like IPAs. They're a little intense oh, neither do for I. me. Neither do I. Which is a good thing. Now, that stout was 7%, just FYI. This IPA tastes like an IPA, but is not as difficult to drink as some other IPAs I've encountered. Okay, and that's a... Oh, God. That's a... Are you shitting me? Hold on. It's 7.2. That IPA is stronger than the stout. That's not something you normally see, is an IPA being stronger than a stout, is it? Hmm. I'm not normally looking at the IPAs. I'm just like... But I never I never see an IPA that's stronger than a stout. Here, let me try it. Then we're going to rank these, because that's the fun part. Oh God, that's that's close to an Imperial IPA, if you know what that is. Um, I think it might be. I don't think they're calling it an Imperial IPA here because I don't know. But pretty much any IPA that's over seven percent is supposed to be an Imperial IPA, meaning you drink them enough, they're gonna knock you off your ass. Uh, good thing, bad thing, and different thing. Who knows? All right. Next up, we've got Kolsch. Now this is the one I was originally gonna get before we got a flight. The uh, Captain Kids Kolsch. Uh, now, I'll tell you, our captain on the ship is called Captain Kirk. We saw him earlier. Um, I saw his second mate, Scotty. This one's stuck in the hole. Hang it's, on. Uh, Kirsten got something stuck in the hole. Uh, can you get it? Where's the, oh. oh, she got it out of the hole. Eventually, if it's stuck in the hole, it will come out, or you have to get it surgically removed. Uh, what am I talking about? All right. So this is uh, Captain Col Captain Kids Kolsch. I do not have very much Kolsch experience. I have a lot of Kolsch experience. This is um, this is very easy to drink. It seems like it is more is it, flat. Is it, than is it crushable? The other. It's more flat than the other beers, and I would call it crushable. Crushable! Okay, let's see. Hang on. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, 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 not, I'm not spoiling the rankings, but this is going up to number one for me. Really? Your number one's probably still the Pilsner, I would say. No, uh, my number one is actually uh, the Golden Haze of Piracy. Okay, so here's why we're leaving a little bit, is we're gonna each pick our top two. I have a feeling there might be some spillover in it, but we're each gonna pick our top two, and then we're gonna actually rank it from there, okay? So let's put that there. Now we've got the Citra, so we, we got two more IPAs. This is the Citra IPA. Um, so go ahead, Kirsten. Hopefully it's not as tight in that, okay. Kirsten's got another tight hole right there. Don't you know there's only supposed to be one tight hole? Huh? They're oh. all tight. They're all tight. Oh, God. Why are they all so tight? Oh, well, that's alcohol abuse. Uh, okay, so we've got the Citra IPA. Citra, I assume that's a citrus IPA? Does it smell yeah, like it citrus? Smell, it smells good, yeah. This one, it's pretty pretty easy to drink for an IPA. If you just handed me this beer and said try it, I would not guess that it was an IPA. Really? Okay, let's try. I see they have spiked seltzers here too. I mean, I don't think it's fair if we don't uh, do the whole menu. Oh, sorry, just say, <laughs> say do the whole menu. Okay, so this is an IPA. Ooh, 
It's it's got the aromatics that the uh, the second one should have had. The uh, blue moon. It's very blue moony. Ooh, I don't like IPAs. That's a good IPA. Yeah, it's it's not as. All right, Kirsten. Not I'm as gonna, hoppy. I'm gonna let you hold the camera for a second, and you're gonna watch me get something out of a tight hole. So, here we go. Let's. Uh, Oh, look at that. You see how quickly that came out of the... Oh, oh God. Uh, okay, Kirsten, that is the last one, which is the seasonal IPA. Uh, I'm not sure. What is the seasonal IPA that you've got right now that's not on the... 242 Hazy. The 242 Hazy. What are the, the notes there? What are the notes there? What is that made? What, what should that be? Citrus or... No, you already have the citrus. Right. What's 242 Hazy? Just a normal yeah, hazy, yeah, IPA? Just hazy IPA? Yeah. Okay, just a hazy IPA. And then what flavors of the... Uh, what flavors do you have here? We have uh, pineapple, red berry, mango lime, and passion fruit coconut. Um, you get a mango lime on that. All right, Kirsten, what do you think of that? That's a hazy IPA. It does taste like a hazy IPA. Um, not, not as hoppy as I'd maybe expect. Stop recording. Hold on. I, I hit the button by mistake because I'm drinking too fast. Okay. Go ahead and talk again. Just this one. All right, this is a the hazy IPA, and it's better than I would expect for for an IPA. Okay, so that's the take no quarter hazy IPA. All right, put that down. Oh wait, I didn't try it. Oh yes, yes. I, I, this is what happens when I press the pause button when I'm too drunk. I'm not that drunk. I don't think. All right, so. All right. Now, I want that, that's okay. It's a hazy. It's a, it's a hazy IPA. Let's not lie. It's a hazy IPA. But they make something else here. I want to talk about this. Breweries around the country, around the world, have come up with this thing in the past like five years. It started, remember White Claw? Yeah. That was like the OG. And then all these breweries figured out that they could make seltzer. And seltzer costs half the price to make that a beer does. I don't know if you know this. This is a, remember how you like to drop little nuggets of information on people? I like to do that too. Seltzer, half the price of a beer. But here's the funny thing about seltzer. You could sell it for the price of a beer, but it costs half the price of a beer to make. So we're gonna reset and think about that, and we're gonna try, oh God. Let me thank the person. Oh no, no, I got it, I got it, I got it single hand. Oh. All right, so they have a pineapple, a red berry, lemon, mango lime, and passion fruit coconut. I thought the best one there was the mango lime. Kind of tequila without tequila. Let's try it. Ooh! Ooh, it kind of drinks like a cocktail. It kind of drinks like that spiked lemonade we had last night. You want to try? The mojito? Yeah. Where the hell that was. It, um, it tastes like fruit screaming from the other room through static. What the fuck did she just say? Fruit screaming through the other room through static. Yeah. Okay, so. Very light flavored. All right, so Kirsten, let's talk about, we're gonna pick our, this was a, a good refresher from the beer, so we could try again. Uh, we're gonna pick our top. You pick your top two, which I'm gonna take a guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's probably between Long John Pilsner and Golden Honey, uh, Golden Haze of Piracy. Those Am I are, wrong? Those are my two favorites. All right, that, that was a good guess, wasn't it? Oh yes, so pull those out. Pull you, those out. You've got it. <laughs> it's, Nost it's Nostra Dumbass. Uh, Nostra Dumbass. All right, and I'm just gonna add one more into there. So let's put the Kolsch. Keep them in kind of order. So there we go. And then we're gonna add the Kolsch, uh, which was the first one here, right? Uh, wait, no. This was. Stout. Take no quarter Kolsch. No. Yeah. Oh, take no quarter. This is Kolsch. Okay, perfect. So we got Kolsch. So this is uh this is. Would you agree, Kirsten, this is top three? Yes. So now we just have to write them. All right, so one more sip of each. You can go first. Pilsner. Long John Pilsner. Okay, and then you get to order them and then I get to order them and we'll see if we can agree. All right, this is the gold and haze of piracy. Captain Kidd's Kolsch. 
I would rank them as the golden haze of piracy first, then the Kolsch second, and the Pilsner third. All right, so I haven't tasted them again yet after the reset. You can hold on to this. So you want to put Kolsch second. I, I'm going to agree with you on Pilsner third because I remember the flavor of the Pilsner. It's nothing special. I'm not saying it's bad. I agree on Pilsner third, okay? Um, the question is, and I have to taste them, whether Golden Haze or Kolsch is going to be first or second. Now, if we disagree here, then we do rock, paper, scissors. Best two out of three. That's how we do this. Okay. Okay, then we just rank them that way. Okay, so Golden Haze, right? I've, I've already moved uh, I've already moved Long John Pilsner to number three. It's crushable, but it's nothing special. Golden Haze. I don't think it's ever come down to the rock, paper, scissors before. Do you just need a barrel of each to tell? No, I disagree. Here we go. We're, oh, no, I'm not getting... No, no, no. We're doing this. We're doing this in one take, minus my alcoholism pressing the record button. We're doing this in one take. Kirsten, I disagree with you. I challenge you to a battle of Rochambeau. You know Rochambeau from South Park? Rochambeau is another word for rock, paper, scissors, but how Rochambeau works is first I kick you in the nuts, then you kick me in the nuts. The first one to go to the floor loses. You, you, you think you'd win that one. We're not playing Rochambeau. We're playing rock, paper, scissors two out of three. Um, whoever gets it wins first place, and their, their beer wins first place, and whoever loses gets second place. You ready? Okay, I, I only have one hand, so. Paper cut scissors, okay, Kirsten's got one. Or scissors cut paper, yeah. yeah okay, Roxy's. Uh, I mean, yeah, you okay, okay. I don't have a second hand, so I can't cover it. All right, so this is for the win. If Kirsten gets this, Gold Haze of Piracy wins uh, number one. If I get this, Captain Coast wins number one. I'm thinking, hold on. What is Kirsten gonna play? I programmed a whole group of people in the elevator yesterday. That was pretty amazing, wasn't it? I made them all go against all the other people that wanted on board. I couldn't believe it. What? <laughs> I, I, I do verbal programming on people. I'm not fucking with you right now. I just want to play Rock, Paper, Scissors. Ready? Aww. Rock crushes scissors. Therefore, at Pirate Republic, the number one beer to get, and what I will be getting a full stein of as soon as I... There's a lot of scraps here, and we got to clean up the scraps, because if you don't clean up the scraps, Kirsten, what is that? Wasting. If you don't clean up the scraps, what is that? Waste. Alcohol abuse. Oh, uh, alcohol abuse. Uh, don't don't do don't believe in alcohol abuse. So number one is Captain Colch's via the rock paper scissors. Number two, Gold Haze of Piracy, and number three, Long John Pilsner. I know you don't fully agree with that. But the rock, paper, scissors says you have to agree with it. That's okay, but I, I would recommend if you're in Nassau to make a stop here because there, it, there are, is a beer for everyone. And it's directly off the right when you get off the ship. I mean, so literally, easy. literally. I just want to show everyone again like where the cruise ships are. You, you can stay here real quick, Kirsten. I'll come close with you. Um, like, literally, here's the brewery. Oh, Sorry. And there's the cruise ships. The cruise ships are literally, look, there's... There's the carnival anal, anal sunshine. Uh, and then here's the brewery. So let's, uh, let's, let's go back to Kirsten, close this up. So this is Richard and Kirsten coming to you from the Pirate Republic, which until like half an hour ago, you didn't even know was here, did you? Reminding you that when you drink a lot of beer and you wear no pants, there's only one thing you get left to lose. Your shirt. Have a great one. Bye.